Tilly has a box of 1,132 beads to make necklaces. She wants to use as many of the beads as possible to make nine necklaces. If she uses the same number of beads for each necklace, how many beads will be used on each one? So how, am I, how should I annotate this? What is the way I should annotate this, Ramaya? But the nine, what was unusual about it? Stick with it. So it required us to really read closely, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Very great stuff. Excellent yes. stuff. Does that number equal our total number? Yes. 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 I don't know how many sections in the box I need yet. Because I don't know if I need four. Four? Three. Four. Why would I need four? Um, because on our multiplication one, there's four um, place values. Hmm. Oh, I like that. So you said there's four place values up here, but we need to see if, where is it, nine. So we need to see if nine can go into each of those place values. So I'm going to put the nine over here. Why would I do that? You're making it into nine. You're dividing the number into nine. So what place value does our number go up to? What place value? What's the biggest place value in our number? Addison? Thousand. So I'm, the first thing I'm going to I'm going to try nine times one thousand. See if we can even work in the thousands. So we're going to try nine times one thousand. What's that equal? Nine thousand. So now I'm going to put my total in here. One thousand. Oops. One thousand one hundred thirty-two. Is this number bigger than that? Yes. 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 Way bigger. Because I only have. 1,000 up there, but I need 9 if I do this, so that doesn't work. So what, how many place, so what place value are we going to go to then? Yes? Um, you're going to go by the hundreds because it's the next less. You're going to go by the hundreds. I, I love like that, that math talk. So what am I going to need to do here then, Joss? Um, you're going to split the thousands into the hundreds. What do we, what do we usually call that? Um, regrouping. Regrouping or exchanging, right? Mm -hmm. So how many do I bring out for that thousand? Um, ten hundred. Ten hundred chips. So what my can what the picture is showing here? I put out my ten. I'm taking out my one thousand, right? What am I, what's my new number of hundreds? Um, there's eleven hundreds here, isn't there? Because mm -hmm. I put that I had one hundred in there already. Well, let's try. What is the number that we can try? Nine times one hundred. So that means we're going to put. We are going to make one hundred, no, nine groups of one hundred. How else can we read that nine times one hundred, Garrett? Nine groups of no. Nine. Uh, say it. You did it. Yeah. Nine groups of one hundred. Nine yes. groups of one hundred. Of is your multiplication symbol, isn't it? Yes. Nine groups of one hundred. Cool. Like yeah, but what do I need to do with this one hundred first? Ava. Why would I put the 200 on top? I mean the 100 on top. Because that's like the value of like the answer so far. Ooh. I like I have that. nine groups of what? 100. Absolutely. 100 times 9. That's a ticket. Yes. Yeah, so we are going to take out this 900 because we already have put it into groups. Is that what we have up there so yep. far? Yep. What's the, so, uh oh, take a look at that. Do we have 232? Yeah. yeah. That's already grouped up. I'm not counting that anymore. What do I have? 200s, 30 tens, two ones. Oh! Oh, that's the exact same. Look at that. The exact same. It shows up right there, doesn't it? We're going to move over to this place because we know that we can't do any more 100s. So we're going to move to what place value now? The yeah, we're going to work with the tens. Since we don't have enough hundreds, we need to split those hundreds into uh, 2010. And what is the language we use for that? Exchange, exchange or? Or regroup. Okay. Yes. So why are you doing that? Why are you exchanging those for 2010? Um, we're exchanging those for 2010s because 200s isn't as, um, it's not enough to fit around the circle again. Love it. So I'm taking those <laughs> away. What's our new number? Do I still have, I've got 23 tens now, don't I? Yeah. Um, you take the, you take 
says 200, so we do 9 times 200. 9 times 200? We're into the tens now. Yeah, so we're going with ten. So what? Remember, we split all these up. You want to try nine times thirty? You jumped right to thirty. We're not going to go ten, 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 twenty, and, and so forth. Why not? What are you working for? We're trying to be more efficient. So we're not going to go ten at a time. He's jumped straight to thirty. Oh. I heard something, Tristan. You were uh, analyzing the situation. What did you notice? And do we lower the number? Yes. Phenomenal. Awesome. Tristan, can you tell me what number I should try? One. All right, let's try 9 times 20 because 270 is pretty close. So we're going to try going down. So 9 100. times 20 is? 180. Can we take oh. away 180 from 232? Yes. 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 Let's analyze this for a second. Have we been as efficient as we can with our tens? No. I've got five left. Can I do anything? No. No. So we're we're as good as we can be. So where do where do I need to put the twenty? We have to put the twenty. Well, at the top by the one hundred. All right, we have 52. Is that what it shows up there? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. So did, are those lining up so far? Mm -hmm. That's what it shows, what isn't it? Whatever yeah. the equal number is, always going to be up there. Phenomenal. Yes. So, Lillian, what do I do next? You could do 9 times 5. Nine I, don't, I don't have enough 10. Mm, take the 10s and reduce them to 51. Yes. I don't have enough, so I have to exchange these. That's an awful lot of ones, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but how many ones do I have? It's still the same value, isn't it? Uh, 52. Okay. So we're going. We're working in what place value? With the what? The, the, we're working in the. With the ones. We're working with the ones. So let's. So Isabel, what do you? What's a guess? To get close to 52, nine times what gets us close to 52? Six. We can try nine times six. Let's try it. Nine times six is what? 54. 54. Oh, that's barely too big, but we don't have enough of these, do we? Let's go down one lower. So we will go lower. So nine times five. What is that? 45. 45. Awesome. Does, does this make sense so far, what we're doing? Yes. Are there any questions? No. Okay, so I'm going to put 45 right down here because I can't make any. Oh, put the five up here. 12 minus five is seven, and four minus four is zero. Zero. What does it look? What? Do, what about up there? What is, is matching? Yes, there's six, seven. There's seven. There's seven. Can I? Can I split these? No. It's a remainder. I'm going to write the remainder up here really small, though. So we will check our answer just real quick. But first, let's check to see if the stuff we have at the top matches what we have in our groups. All right. Do we have 100 chip? Yep. That, that's what uh, Miss Sullivan has up there. <laughs> Thank you. Do we have two tens? Yep. And do we have five ones yep. in each group? We do, don't we? So that matches perfectly with our manipulatives, doesn't it? And we have the remainder. And the remainder's off to the side because I cannot equally split those up anymore. Oh, so I add these together? Oh, that's for work, getting our actual answer, right? Tilly uses... So Good. Tilly would need... I'm going, can I use use instead of need? So Tilly would use 125 beads for each necklace. These seven are just going to stay in the box, aren't they? They can't be used because she uses exact numbers in each uh, necklace, doesn't she? Good, you guys analyzed right through that. Okay.